Doris Dingle had three cats, Dale, Donna, and Dee Dee, and she loved them with all her heart. Donna, snobby Siamese, spent most of the time sorting through her collection of bird feathers. <coughs> Dee Dee preferred to tap Doris Dingle's cheek with her paw. Until Doris opened her mouth so wide that Dee Dee could count her fillings. Dale was just an all-around good guy who was digging a hole to China. When Doris called him, she would yell, Dale! Dale! And he would come bouncing, bopping, and handspringing. Every day was a wonderful day for the Dingles. But the favorite time was breakfast. They would drink cat mint tea in the sunshine. Then go about their business in the backyard. One lovely day, Donna was tanning her tail while Dale worked on his digging. Dee Dee had just curled herself down into the dandelion picking basket when something happened. It started out with a little breeze that blew away a few feathers. Then came a wind that tipped over a big bag of pink moths. Suddenly, a huge whoosh blew Doris Dingle's skirt right over her head. When Doris looked up, she saw a little poodle dog paddling across the sky. Then, Mr. Gonzo's union suit blew by like a big red kite with a clothesline tail and his patio chairs and all the plastic gnomes for mangles and really gigs. Just then, Dee Dee came flying right by her and landed flat against the fence. Spread out like a maple leaf. Then Donna and Dale and flower pots, garbage pails and lawn chairs and garden hoses all ducked into a big rubble pile. <laughs> But even though Doris was very scared, she made a plan. Lifting her big apron, she tore the bottom into three long strips. She tied one around each cat and then knotted all three to the waistband of her apron. Onward to the patio doors, Doris shouted. And they were off with their bellies to the ground as flat as bare skin mats. Then lightning struck the fence post and shot the dingles like missiles right through the patio door into the house.
safely inside, the first thing they did was have a nice hot bath. While the storm flashed and crashed outdoors, Donna, Dee Dee, and Dale sat in a circle on the rug and had warm milk and honey with butter on top. Doris had a little cat mint cordial to settle her nerves. That night, when Doris went to bed, Donna, Dee Dee, and Dale crawled into Doris Dingle's feather blanket. Two minutes later, they were all sing as a rain pity patted on the roof. Everything was just as it should be. The 